When you're returning from a tropical honeymoon, you expect to come back with a tan, maybe a few souvenirs, but one Florida woman recently brought home something unexpected, a baby fly burrowed in her skin. <laughs> Two months after her trip, the 36-year-old woman went to the doctor, had a little itchy, pimple-like lesion on the left side of her groin, found out it was the larva of a human bot fly. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, this is probably the most <clears throat> unwanted souvenir from your honeymoon ever. This poor lady, she and you went see to see this in your practice. We do. You so this is actually this. a dermatology diagnosis. It's called myiasis. And what happens is when you travel somewhere tropical, you can get bitten by a mosquito or by a fly, and they carry these eggs on them and they deposit them if you have like a little cut or scratch or even through the bite in the skin. And it's exactly like what you described. You come back and you have this little pimple or Sore. And this poor lady, the first doctor she went to, thought it was just an infected bite, tried to put her on antibiotics. And it's understandable. Yeah. You're not We're necessarily like thinking, you know what, that, that's a little human bot fly larva in there. Right. You're, not, you're not thinking that. <laughs> not initially. necessarily. And then the second doctor she went to in Florida could see that it was this heaped up, firm mound and then felt like moving. there might be something moving. And there's the something in there going, let me out. Let me I mean, what would be amazing is as you made the incision, it hatched. It's, so that's what happens. So the way you actually treat these, there are two ways to treat this. One is you actually numb it up and just like you're gonna pull a tooth or do a small biopsy, you do local anesthetic and you make a little incision and then you take that larva out and that's what you saw do you need to in the take picture. The, do you need to take the little cocoon too? Yeah, you have to take the whole thing. So like, you like you're yeah. sizing a cyst, not just a squeeze. But they come out. So the other way to get rid of these that's really interesting is that these, in order to breathe, have to lie parallel to your skin. Mm -hmm. They have little breathing appendages. And so the other way you can treat really? these, if you have it, is you suffocate them. So if you know this is what it is, you can put petroleum jelly on it or bacon even. That's I've crazy. Something that chokes off the I mean, the So they like have little snorkels. Yes. And they're snorkeling under your skin. Yeah, yeah. and so wow. they'll have to come out because they can't breathe. And then when you see them starting to poke out, you take your tweezers and you just and you nail them, them you get them.